Hey, welcome back everyone, Toysha's here, and I am back yet again for yet another DC Multiverse News update. If you caught my video from yesterday, we discussed the entirety of the McFarlane Toys panel from WonderCon 2024. There was a lot to talk about, it was a little bit of everything, not just specifically DC Multiverse, like we're going to be talking about today. Specifically, the Collector's Edition, the $30 price point that sort of styling for the DC Multiverse. That's the three figures we got today. So they've already been revealed, but we got a few more photos to discuss. And it should be always a blast talking it out, right? Now, before we get started, as always, if you're interested in anything you see on this video, I will have affiliate pre-order links down in the description below. Thanks for using my links, helps the channel to grow. Also, something that I'm starting, hopefully for April, maybe we'll have to wait for May, but I will be having a new YouTube subscription service. So it's a monthly subscription, it's an added bonus. We get a little bit more in depth, you will have access to a few new videos here and there beforehand before I launch them up. So yes, it's a subscription service through and through. I think it's a couple bucks, but if you'd like to join, would love to have you. Club Toyshes, that's the name of the group. But anyways, moving on, we have some figures to talk about. So first up, for the collector's edition this time around, we have Digger Harkness the Captain Boomerang Man, and he looks pretty cool. And before, in my video yesterday, I had said, well, it looks like his shirt is also cloth goods. No, it just looks that good. He will have a trench coat. It has a bendy wire. He also has a scarf. Whether or not that has a bendy wire remains to be seen. It could be clever photography, but at least the jacket does, so a lot of you out there may be into that. A lot of people have pointed out that they look kind of dollish when they have these sorts of cloth goods. Y have you heard of Mezco? I I've been saying that for a while. Yes, they do look a little dollish, but there's more plastic than cloth goods. So for me, I, I think it works. And from the photos alone, I think that he looks pretty darn cool. You can remove the jacket. Overall, I just think he looks like a solid figure. I'm not too stoked on the head portrait. It looks a little funky, at least in terms of these photos. So that remains to be seen, how good it looks in hand. But through and through, I would say, yeah, that's a pretty solid looking Captain Boomerang overall. Oh yeah, because it's a collector's edition, all of these will have platinum variants, just as a heads up. So for Captain Boomerang, you get more of a lighter blue color. He kind of looks like a snow bunny outfit. This one really doesn't do much for me, if I'm being honest. It's going to be the exact same figure, same accessories, the whole nine yards, except now he just looks like he's vacationing up in Aspen. <laughs> so, yeah, not, not one of the Platinums for me. However, that being said, there are other Platinums coming that we're going to be talking about. That will be for me. He comes with a card stand the trading card. He comes with several boomerangs, several sets of hands, and a bunch of cloth goods. Overall, pretty stoked on this Captain Boomerang, but like I said, it remains to be seen if the head portraits, yada yada. But overall, I would say it's a pretty good offering for the character of Captain Boomerang, especially if you are a Flash villain fan. Now, going from the Flash to then Teen Titans, we have Starfire coming. She is Coriander, or Cory. She looks pretty good. This is her DC Rebirth outfits, other outfits of Starfire. Who knows what WB may not fly. <laughs> I mean, this is a collector's edition. I guess that would be the place to do it. But she looks good as well. I like the colors, the purples. They got the tone of her skin Right, it's a very light orange. I think that it shows up really well, at least for these photos. I like the subtle color of the orange into her red hair. I think that that looks great as well. Overall, pretty happy about this Starfire. And again, if you're a Teen Titans fan, you'll be happy to add her to the team. Now, she does have a platinum chase. Of course, it will be her sister, Blackfire, Princess Commander. And she again looks good. This is one of those where a lot of people will say, well, the variants, they can just be these one-off weird things, doesn't really matter. Well, this is a brand new character, and this is one that, yes, I must have. And she is becoming incredibly hard to get as of the pre-order because she's selling out everywhere because apparently everybody wants Blackfire. <laughs> 
And yes, largely, as far as the pictures tell, this should be the exact same figure as her sister, Starfire. At first, I thought it was a different head portrait, but I think it's just the way it's painted. It looks a little bit, well, let's say different enough. So, yeah, that's pretty darn cool. Starfire, Blackfire will come with some energy effects, flight stands, and of course, the card stand with the card. Yay. <laughs> Hip, hip, hooray on that card stand. They're still going at it. This one, I'll be honest, I mean, it comes with a flight stand and effects, but this is going to be one of those, again, where it's just the $20, $22 price point. There's nothing much in the box to really make it that upgraded $30 price point. It's just not there for me. And then finally, over on the Batman villain's end, we have the Penguin, Oswald Cobblepot. This one out of the three is definitely my favorite, my must-have out of the three. I think that he just looks solid. I like the colors that they've gone with for the standard look for the Penguin. You got black, orange, purple. He has his little penguin cane. His nose is soft. It's a great head portrait, I will say. I like all of that. He got the gloves, the spats. Pretty solid looking penguin. Oh, yeah, there's a platinum version, and it's a superpowers classic looking penguin colors. And that's also a must have. <laughs> that's pretty cool. But again, I'm glad it's it's one that everybody can kind of look like, well, I mean, it's the penguin's the penguin. So if you really like this color scheme as opposed to the black and the orange, you might want to grab this. Who knows? I do. He does have a red version of his penguin cane. But yeah, overall, that's just... A, he looks like... He, he's on his way at like a Disney Dapper Day, or he's just celebrating Easter 24-7, right? That's <laughs> great toyetic color. Just very eye-catching, eye-popping. So, yes, the platinum version will be these colors. Pretty cool. I like what I'm seeing here for the penguin. I had kind of thought, oh, how's that articulation going to go in the waist with his belly and all that? It looks pretty sound. Better pictures helps make a better decision. Comes with the card stand, comes with extra hands. And then, of course, the umbrella. Now, again, much like Starfire, it's like, well, what's to differentiate this character for being the $30 price point now to the standard $22? And that's what we've been talking about for the collector's edition over and over. It's like, put a bunch of stuff in the box at $30 because I'm not seeing it. There's not enough in this box. And extra head portraits for Starfire and the Penguin, no question. Because of the cloth goods for Captain Boomerang, that adds a little bit of extra oomph. But we are seeing cloth goods in the $22. So something has to change here. It really does. Because you're making it sound like, well, these are just different characters and they're all new molds, so you should pay the extra premium price. Uh, that's not going to go over well for collectors, trust me. I, this will get old after a while. I would not recommend this. So again, you're not putting enough in the box. Captain Boomerang, I'll leave him be. The Penguin and Starfire, Blackfire, especially you have to pay 60 bucks to get those two figures and you're getting the same exact figure. There's not really much differentiation. Yeah, that's that's going to be a thing. People will get very tired of real quick. So my advice, start packing the boxes. We've said it over and over again. So that will wrap it up for my quick look at the brand new DC Multiverse Wave of Three, the Penguin, Starfire, Blackfire, and of course, Captain Boomerang. And you've uh, heard my thoughts, of course, and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything DC Multiverse. And like I said, if you're interested in anything you've seen in this video, make sure to grab those pre-order links down in the description below. If they're out of stock, just wait. They'll come back eventually. You'll find these in stores. Don't worry. Pump the brakes. It's going to be okay. You'll eventually find the figures that you need. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, start packing those boxes. $30 price points. Not seeing enough, especially with what other companies are doing, just as a heads up. And when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.